guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to talk about expandable storage for MacBook Pro now I've got three hard drives uh, in front of me and uh, these are all one terabyte hard drives from different companies just to show that this thing is not at all sponsored so I've got one from Seagate I've got a Western Digital and I got another Western Digital so the thing is that a lot of you guys might be buying all of these three hard drives and uh, you know like uh, you guys might be thinking how to format this or why is this drive not working with my MacBook Pro so at first uh, if you are having the newest MacBook Pro you do need to buy an accessory like this uh, let me show you. so if you have the newest MacBook Pro I would highly recommend you guys to buy an accessory like this this is the HyperDrive Plus I have actually a tutorial and a review of this thing and I will put it in my description uh, so that you can can check this out that how this thing works because it has an HDMI in the front also that actually snug fits to the side of your MacBook Pro now without further ado let's go ahead and see what you need to do to make these three drives work on your MacBook okay so um, I have I will show you a trick uh, for example you've picked this up uh, uh, a one terabyte external hard drive uh, from your local stores or you have just ordered this from Amazon and you're like what's going on why is this not working so this is the reason why it's not working there is something called an NTFS format which means that these guys usually work with laptops like uh, running Windows like for example uh, if I plug this in you can actually see this file so let me show you uh, that these are actually all pre-formatted for Windows so when I just connect this it pops up and uh, it should pop up let me move the lights so as you can see that this guys uh, that this one actually pops up now you can take any sort of files or anything and you can actually drag and drop out here uh, and that's it so it actually uh, transfers everything on my window so for Windows it's fine now let's see whether this hard drive which uh, we just bought uh, can work on this one or not so let's go out here shift delete uh, we'll delete this uh, new file uh, let's close this one and we'll eject this okay so we'll keep our windows laptop aside i just have a windows as because i use a uh, softwares like sony vegas and stuff like that for my editing and i do a little bit of gaming on my side i mean everybody does a little bit of gaming on the side so that's the reason i got my uh windows uh, laptop now let's see what happens if we try to plug the same drive so as you can see i didn't change my drive this is the same drive i'm going to keep it out here on the side so that you guys can see and i'm going to plug this in now so what happens is that at first when we connect the drive so the drive is connected now you see that uh, we have um, the file out here so it's showing me the score that's how i named my hard drive so when i click on this i should be able to reach through gopro and everything okay so uh, this drive is actually not readable uh, or not transferable it's readable but not transferable so what's this so I select this thing so I just press uh, or maybe I select this one uh, command C and then I try to paste it out here as command V you cannot paste it right so how are you going to transfer all of these data out here it shows you this sign so there are two ways you can do it Either you can buy um, iCloud storage uh, so that you don't have to believe on this terabyte and terabytes of hard drives, which is more convenient. Um, or what you can do is, um, I like to keep all of my files and everything on terabytes of hard drives, just to archive everything. Uh, you can go to your launch pad, just go to your launch pad, and you will see out here a lot of options. So out of all of these options, you just go to other. And after that, when you go to other, uh, go for um, not time machine. Uh, I will talk about time machine later because time machine has got a different option and disk utility. So this is the thing that you are going to use and you go and find out your drive, which is uh, my drive, which is this guy called Dascore. Then it shows you the information on my drive. Now, uh, there are two ways of backing up. Either you can use time machine to back up so for example you go to launchpad again and you select time machine uh, time machine backs up everything to uh, to your drive now the thing with time machine is that it does this snapshot it does all of this snapshot so from today next day and everything so this snapshot I do not like to keep stuff like a snapshot I just want to select folders and keep it uh, like in a very organized way I don't want 
to do that. So for the, all of those guys who doesn't want snapshots of every day so that, you know, like uh, you cannot, uh, you don't want to use it like a regular stuff. You just want to archive it for yourself. This is not for you. So you get out of that, press cancel. You don't need to do some time machine backup for that. And then you just go to your uh, launch pad again and you go to other and from there you guys go to uh, disk utility. Now in disk utility, select your drive. After that, you can go to partition. Uh, don't select anything. See uh, out here, just keep it one terabyte. You don't need to partition this. We'll partition this like in a whole format. Now, um, there are two ways of doing it. As you can see, it's written out here. It's a Windows NTFS file. That's the reason that will not allow you to transfer. So Mac actually recommends you Mac OS X extended journal. This one, this one, and the encrypted. Now, encrypted, uh, let me zoom you a bit again. So Mac OS extended uh, encrypted is a very, very secure format. Now, the thing is that, remember this, guys. If you are buying a hard drive that is uh, dually compatible uh, with your Mac and your Windows, these are not the formats. This is the format that you're selecting. It's XFAT. Uh, XFAT is a for good format uh, to save, but your drives are going to be unstable in data. What does that mean? Which means that your drives can probably crash uh, after three or four years. Uh, so you guys need to know that it probably can crash in XFAT format. It's not that stable compared to Mac OS Extended. So once I select XFAT, I can select Apply. So uh, what it does is that it will partition and it will erase everything. And uh, after some time, it will be uh, it will be showing you everything. So just select uh, Decide Later. You can use this as a backup disk, but I do not want to do Time Machine, so I'm going to select Decide Later and press done and that's it your stuff is done now let's go and check uh, whether i can drop and back up everything on my drive or not so uh, the disk is showing up now let's go ahead and select this so we'll select this this three is selected command c and uh, command v that's it guys now you can see that it actually backs up everything from my uh, you know like a mac to this hard drive you have to reformat all of these drives that you are using. So give me a big thumbs up and like this video in the comments and description. Uh, if you think that I had helped you out uh, solving a very big issue right now with the newer Macs to uh, format the hard drives and backup, I would uh, highly appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching the channel and I hope you enjoyed it.